Guess who is currently the wild man of the moment? It's no other than DMW signee. Oh, sorry, former DMW signee, Lil Frosh. Upcoming Afro hip hop rapper Lil Frosh recently landed on the chopping board of social media after it became public knowledge that his inability to produce any hit song is because he has been channeling all his talent into maltreating his girlfriend, who goes by the name Gift Camille. This is coming after the brother of his girlfriend, Myox Michael, who also doubles as a manager, took to social media to drag him for beating Gift Camille to pulp severally while sharing some gruesome photos as evidence to back his accusations. In the wake of the abuse story, Lil Frosh has not only lost his reputation in the Nigerian music industry, it gets worse. His recent recording contract with David Doe's Music Worldwide DMW, has also been terminated. Could this be the end of the beginning for Lil Frosh? Will he still be able to salvage what's left of his musical career? Well, all these are some questions on the mind of Nigerians following the heated backlash involving non-social media. Also, we bet you have equally been wondering who Lil Frosh is, how he came into prominence and the full story of how he ended his musical career before it even began. Hello guys, it's T-Code here for African Glitz. I just saw that the guy is called Lil Frosh and when he comes out, you know what I'm saying? When I first do my first show and he performs, they look at me like I'm really. Now everywhere I go, they're the for everywhere where I go. So this is what comes out anybody to support him, he's a great artist. I promise you he will be back next year and he's going to love him, he'll tell next year. Frosh, whose real name is Sonny Goriolawa Siu, is a 22-year-old upcoming Nigerian Afro hip-hop rapper. Also known as Eruku Makanaki by fans, Lil Frosh grew up in the street of Lagos alongside his best friend Zinoliski, who is equally a popular rap artist. Lil Frosh kick-started his musical career as far back as 2017 when he began making Instagram freestyle rap videos with Zinoliski. Despite not getting the recognition they deserve at the time, he and Zinoliski were inspired to keep pushing after Kiss Daniel followed them on social media. This came after they dropped one of their many rap videos. Fate soon smiled on Lil Frosh and Zinoliski when top record labels Aloma Music Worldwide took Lil Frosh under their wing and Malian Music Imprint signed Zinoliski. Lil Frosh got a little more popular in 2019 following the release of his song, Firi Yawu where he featured Small Doctor. He also went on to release songs like Kari Obaka and Who Knows featuring Zinoliski. Although all his songs are heavily laced with the Yoruba language, they have only made him even more popular, especially on the street. Today, Lil Frosh, despite having no hit song, is known for being the originator of the street slangs Sontopolio and Firiyahu. Citing irreconcilable differences, Lil Frosh left Aloma Music Worldwide in September of 2020 and in no time, it was signed under the top recording label, Davido Music Worldwide. The end of the beginning of Lil Frosh's promising musical career came on the heels of his girlfriend's brother and manager, Myox Michael, calling him out on social media. In a series of tweets, Myox accused the upcoming rapper of domestic violence against his girlfriend, Gift Camille, sharing pictures of the result of the dastardly act against his girlfriend, Myox further accused Lil Frosh of threatening to kill his girlfriend, Gift. With feminists on the train, influencers listed on the tags and other Nigerians unhappy that the beautiful girlfriend was abused, Lil Frosh did not only trend on Twitter but was dragged for days. Alongside, many called on David Doe to terminate the contract his record label has with Lil Frosh, while also tagging appropriate authorities to delve into the matter. Lil Frosh's girlfriend, who is also a model, equally took to her Instagram page to confirm the accusation of her brother and manager. In a long post on her page, she explained how the 10-month-old toxic relationship with Lil Frosh had been ridden with abuse. Going back in time, Gift recalled how Lil Frosh hit her severely, damaged her phones, recorded her naked and threatened to publicize the video on social media. Speaking about the most recent assault, which she said happened on September 19, Gift explained that it led to internal bleeding in her head and has resulted in her being in and out of the hospital. A disfigured face has also
also made her unable to take modeling jobs. Attending to the cries of Nigerians, Fem crooner David O finally terminated Lil Fresh recording contract with DMW. In the press release shared online by DMW on Tuesday, October 6, DMW explained that they have investigated the allegations against their signee and came about strong evidence proving the allegations are true. Because DMW does not condone domestic violence, they severed all ties with Lil Frosh. Hmm. So this is how Lil Frosh's contract with David O Music Worldwide came to an abrupt end. Reports also have it that Lil Frosh, who couldn't defend himself with reasons for his action on social media, has been arrested. Despite being talented, do you think this incident will affect Lil Frosh's music career? Do you think it was right for the DMW to terminate his contract? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching one of our videos and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to check out our channel for more interesting videos we know you'll like. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.